flooding has escalated into a humanitarian emergency, several affecting several states and local government areas across the country, with many Nigerians displaced from their homes and expectations of more intense rains in the coming days. The Director General Nisa Omar Mohammed dwelt elaborately on how the agency is mitigating flood crisis in Nigeria. We try to reverse what we can reverse through scientific uh, assessments and uh, we try to adapt to what we cannot reverse. Now, the adaptation is necessary because uh, you can't do without weather, weather. and uh, there's nothing you can do to climate change mm -hmm. with regards to the fossil, uh, fossil fuel emission. Now, that is global. Even if you don't, if we, if we maintain the minimum requirement of 1.5 in Nigeria, we, our neighboring countries might not, and uh, it has a global effect. So what we try to do is to try to see that uh, we adapt to it. That is why. Now, secondly, we improve and mitigate where we can, you know, scientifically. Mohammed said the agency planned to implement new measures to address climate-related issues such as increasing rainfall patterns and extreme weather conditions. You would certainly notice, or you yourself, can confidently say now that Nigerians' or rainy season farming is no longer reliable because of the uncertainty and unpredictability of the rainy season or the rainfall, rainfall pattern. It's now highly inconsistent. You can hardly predict how the rainfall comes. So nobody, no agriculture, no nation can depend on uh, rainy season agriculture or farming. No. So we are trying to deviate from that and encourage the irrigation. That we can control, we can manage and we can predict as well. So that is why we need to manage these groundwater resources. The federal government cannot afford to continuously uh, to continuously being uh, attacked with such disasters because it has been ravaging the the federal government infrastructure you know now and these things are measured in trillions of naira now comparing that to the budget you will notice or you will see that a lot of most part of the budget is being cut off it's been chop, chopped up by these uh, devastating flood attacks so definitely federal government is ready Particularly this government is ready to, to come up with strategies to see how to mitigate future occurrences. Muhammad reaffirmed that NISA was actively involved in monitoring the country's water resources and providing essential data to mitigate the impact of flooding and other ideological challenges. For the first time uh, when Lagdo Dam was being released in this country, now there was constant and daily monitoring of that time. And there is constant communication between NISA and the managers of Lagdo Dam, such that the water releases will not overcome our rivers. We try to do that. Now, when it ever goes to the red alert, we inform them they reduce their releases. Sometimes they even close it up. I can tell you for the past one week, it has been closed up only, I think the day before yesterday, it was open again. It was being released gradually because our our river water levels have gone very very high they are red alert at the moment so such innovations are what we are putting in place to checkmate the uh, breakout of uh, disaster you know in such uh, areas he noted the importance of water management in fostering national growth health and environmental sustainability they should uh, heed to our advice they should stay away from the flood prone areas and uh, those even in the cities they should make sure that their gutters are cleared are clean let it let it be clear for water passages where there are no gutters let them try to put up gutters it's very very important now by doing so it will allow the water to flow quickly you know it will not allow water to be trapped to cause flooding and it will ease the aftermath of flood, you know, the outbreak of diseases, where you have so many refuse dumped along waterways. That is why a lot of diseases come up after flood events. Muhammad 
called for collaboration among government agencies, local communities, and stakeholders to promote water security and environmental sustainability. In Abuja, Nasiri Usman for Signature TV.